the way from Georgia, please welcome Liz Tory. It may sound like I'm out of breath right now, but I just walked by a hot fireman. <laughs> Start a fire later. <laughs> uh, don't adjust your glasses. You don't need glasses. I look like John Candy and the mother from Rugrats had a tawdry one night stand, and I look like the love child that is proof of that one night stand. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the red. I can't help myself. As you can tell, I'm uh, in the middle of transitioning. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Into a cartoon. <laughs> uh, I recently went back to Georgia, and I finally found the courage to come out of the closet. It was so hard. I was like, oh my god, they're going to burn me at the stake. Oh, they're going to kill me. But in front of everyone, I stood there and I was like, I want you to call me Liz Tory from now on. That's who I am. Whew. And then my bitchy aunt stood up and said, why would you do this at your father's funeral? <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, if you don't want to call me Liz Tory, you can call me livingly and him deadly. <laughs> they now call me Liz Tory. <laughs> <laughs> Simple uh, negotiations. <laughs> Being trans is a real pain in the ass. It really is. The hormones, the, the mixing, the going back and forth. I'm gender fluid, non-binary. Uh, so some days I wake up and I'm a raging bitch. <laughs> and some days I wake up and I want to over-explain everything to women. And I can't find the G-spot. <laughs> It's a myth on those days. <laughs> like a unicorn. <laughs> I'm from Georgia. I know all of the air goes out of the room, doesn't it? it people automatically think Southerners are stupid when we speak. Well, not really. It's because we're notorious cousin fuckers. <laughs> At least that's what my double first cousin told me when we went to the prom together. <laughs> but my cousin daddy said it didn't happen. <laughs> um, so... Food. Can you tell I love food? I don't know what gives it away. The, the great thing about Moo Moo's and Kaftan's is I have room to grow. And to me, Mama Cass and Ursula have always been the most beautiful women ever. You can laugh at that. It's okay. It's okay. I, I love... Uh, I am the trashy RV person. Here we go. That's who I am. A living cartoon. But for some people, food is love. Oh my God, it's such a beautiful thought. Oh, here you go, baby. I made this for you. I made it with love. And my family, food was whatever couldn't outrun us in the front yard. <laughs> Squirrel. Uh -oh. Decayed possum <laughs> Raccoon tastes like pot <sighs> But, Dogs and cats were off the list. What? We're not monsters, just cousin fuckers. <laughs> um, I come from a long line of superstitious leaders. Uh, preachers. Preachers. My grandfather was a preacher, and my dad was a preacher. My grandma could have been a preacher. But she didn't think women were smart enough to spout fairy tales from the pulpit. <laughs> Love you, Grandma. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but has anyone ever been to a church in the South? 
Yeah, they're either dancing with rattlesnakes or catching the Holy Ghost. <laughs> catching the Holy Ghost. Like it's the flu. I'll tell you. My last time I was ever in a ever in a uh, church where someone didn't die. I was just sitting there and we were singing. I was a child. I saw the light. I saw the light. And then BAM! And Linda just jumped up and she was like, suck a suck a cock, suck a cock, suck a big, 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 big cock. And I was like, oh my God, my aunt is dying. And my grandfather at the pulpit said, no, she's called the Holy Ghost. And I was scared. The lights were getting bright. And it was getting, oh my God, is this an alien abduction? And then three more sons of bitches popped up behind me and they were like, suck a dick, suck a dick, suck a long, long dick. I got the hell out of there. The hell out. <laughs> Going to church, one star, would not recommend. <laughs> I'm this Tory, go home and do some butt stuff, but not with your cousin.